what's an outline of a proposal? Typically, your clients will send you an RFP that stands for Request for Proposal. And what they're looking for is a response, a proposal. There's a bio. They want to know who they're working with. So you have to have a bio page of all the key players, references, other big clients that you've worked with, and any kind of testimonials and contact information. They want to see your process, the five steps, and they want to see relevant case studies. It's not just about presenting the best you, but the best you in light of the competition you're going to be facing. How do you gauge a client's budget and how high they can go? How do you gauge a client's budget? Yeah. It's a game. And once more, we play our dangerous game. A game of chess against our old adversary. I gauge the client's budget by just asking them. There's something that we call price bracketing. And so you're going to take two numbers as goalposts. Is it between this number and this number? Do you have between $2,000 and $8,000 to do this initiative? And that's when they say, no, you're way out of my price point. Then I ask them, well, what's your price point then? Let's say you want $5,000 to design a website. That's a reasonable number, $5,000. Bracket the price between five and 10 or five and 15. That way, the base, the least amount you're gonna get paid is $5,000. But if you say, oh, you know, for something for like $5,000, we can do, then they come back and they're like, you know, we can't really do five, 3,800, will you do that? And you're like, yeah, I'll do it. Have an open conversation with your client and see if you can do the project for them or not. And don't be afraid to say, I'm gonna refer you to somebody else because I just can't do it. Well, whoa, 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 before you refer us, tell us what you do again. I wanna learn more about you, okay? Then let's work together. Let's say you're in talks with a client over a project and yeah. the client wants a bigger agency. But, they always want a bigger agency. So. But you know, the guy says he knows he can deliver. So like he knows he can do this job. And, uh, well, and who cares what you know? It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. How can he, you know, tell the client, dude, I can do this, don't trip. Okay. <laughs> dude, I can do this, don't trip. Mm -hmm. You're always going to go up against a smaller company and a bigger company. Believe it or not, even if you charge 50 bucks or something, he's going to do it for 20. There's always room between you and the basement. There's always room. Unless you're the, the giant 800 pound gorilla in the industry, which you're not obviously if you're watching the show and that's the right. And so you know that somebody's more, um, uh, more experienced, has a bigger team, probably has more relevant case studies. They're also going to be in the mix. So the question is here, how do you defeat the smaller guy and the bigger guy? What do you do? What you have to do is create some doubt in the client's mind, believe it or not. And now we're going to get into some sneaky guerrilla warfare ninja stuff here, okay? What, what makes you better than the little guy? Well, the little guy is a one-person shop. They don't have a lot of experience. If you want to save money, go work with them. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing the client to do what they want. And that makes them not want to do it. Kind of almost like reverse psychology here. It's like I want to cast doubt in the client's mind about why the smaller shop is going to drop the ball. How do I defeat the bigger company in the conversation with the client? Well, here's the thing, Mr. and Mrs. Client, the much bigger company, I'm sure they have a very large team and I'm not sure who you're going to work with once they sell you the job. But you do need to know this, I'm a small business owner. You're going to be working with me. When you have a problem, you don't call an account director, you don't call a coordinator or producer, you call me and I will take care of the work my professional uh, brand, my reputation is built on me delivering. If you want to call any of my previous clients, you're going to hear the same thing. I go above and beyond, okay? I give you high touch personal service built for you. By the way, here's my cell phone number. Give me a call day or night if you need help. Even if you need help in keeping the other guys honest and evaluating their bid, I'd be happy to do that for you. So what am I doing here? I'm trying to cast out on both sides. I'm really trying to carve out my niche and you can do that.